Paweł Trela. Hogart Technik Brand Ambassador, a licensed rally driver and Polish Drift Champion. A constructor and a lecturer at university. On a daily basis he runs a company that prepares cars for motorsport, where he also participates actively in the process of designing and creating vehicles specially designed for competition. His most famous design is Maybach, the only drifting Opel GT in Europe, with which he takes part in the competition. Paweł Trela is also a consultant for Hogart Technik brand in the field of designing and testing new products. Cooperating with the brand he builds its credibility and he also co-creates its image and supports communication. We took the engine out of my Opel in the previous episode, now we have it on stand and we are about to start dismantling. What is this operation actually for? The engine ran almost two seasons in total, we had some slight compression pressure drops on the two cylinders, about one bar, so actually not much, but it is a loss of let's say a couple of or even a few dozen horsepower, and that can never be too much. We will also see what we have to change, we will see what will come back to this engine, so that it will serve us further. We disassemble and work. Our Turbo GTX 35 has almost 900 horsepower and 1000 Nm torques. With actually little boost because in fact 1.45 bars, so very little as for such power. The exhaust manifold, of course, wrapped in a blanket in order to be a bit colder under the hood, in order not to get too hot and to work better, because the exhaust gases run faster when it is a little warmer in the manifold. The next element, which distinguishes my engine from the usual, serial one, is an original pulley and my anti-damper. You can see the difference easily. The serial one can devalkanize here. You can even see a scratch here, where it simply falls apart. This is much more durable. This has to withstand less than 7000 RPM. That can withstand more than 10,000. You know what I mean. This is the serial oil cooler, very small factory item. I have only such a sandwich placed between the filter and the holder. We drain all through pipes from this spacer to the large oil cooler at the front of the car, more or less of this size. So it works much better. It is used on that occasion to mount the pressure sensor, temperature sensor and warning lamp. What for? Well, of course, in order to better control the engine and its temperature. Some of you have surely noticed that I have a slightly different water pump too. Normally here is a roller for a multi-ribbed belt, but I have this place welded up. Why? Well, because I use an electric pump. For once I have a cooling system at the rear of the car, not a radiator at the front like normal. And two, the electric pump has much better flow and it is easier to control. As probably a few people notice, the main cups are screwed by pins and nuts. Not screws as originally, because we no longer have original screws. We only use the ARP screws, that is counterparts, let's say motorsport screws, whether for main cups, rods, head, that kind of thing. For once we have screws that are much more durable, and two, usually there are such models available that we can use them a few times. Not as in the vast majority of serial screws, where once screwed in, they can only be thrown away. Stock ones are not as strong as durable as these. Here, however, the forces are often several times greater than 
in such a stock engine. Better safe than sorry. We use only such counterparts. Our stock crankshaft after a year and a half of driving is fine, knock on wood. The original that is said to be forged, so very durable. In fact, the guys do good job on this stock crankshaft with over 1000 horsepower. So it is nice that nothing happens here. The only modification of such a naturally aspirated JZ is the oil nozzle on piston bottoms down here. This is not any complicated operation, but at this moment such a block is not different from the GTE version, that is factory turbo, but it is much cheaper. We get rid of last two sensors from the head because they are easy to damage during transport. The guys in the processing also do not need them for anything. So we'll also unscrew them soon. Well, in the next materials, you will see how the Hogger Technic tools will help us to put together this little beauty.